15th of April, 12.45 a.m. The first lifeboat is lowered down. With the crew inadequately trained in how much weight the lifeboat's lowering equipment could bear, and many passengers terrified to leave the ship, although the boat could carry 65 people, it left with only 28 on board. The first distress rocket is fired. Third class passengers are largely left to fend for themselves, causing many to be trapped below the decks as the ship filled with water. Of the 159 women and children lost, 141 were in the third class. Finnish newlyweds Eileen and Pekko Hakarainen are third class passengers on their way to start a new life in America. Hearing noises, Pekko goes to investigate, but Eileen goes back to sleep. When she wakes, the cabin is tilted at an angle. Her husband is still gone. Amy later said, I grabbed my purse and life jacket and ran out to the passageway. The door was locked. All the doors were locked. Eventually she finds a route out and makes her way onto a lifeboat. She remembered, we rowed away quickly, watching the ship slide beneath the surface of the water. The screams of those in the water were horrible. I remember calling over and over, Pecco, Pecco, I'm here, come this way. It was cold and I wasn't wearing warm clothes. I drifted into unconsciousness. By daylight we could see a ship in the distance coming to rescue us. Once aboard the Carpathia we were given clothes, food and hot coffee. But I slowly realised the last words I would ever hear from my husband were, I'm going to see what's happening. I stood at the railing for hours, looking out to the open sea and hoping upon hope that they would find just one more lifeboat.